What's up guys? Welcome to Tuesday. We are here at our RV storage location picking up this bad boy right here for our first official trip of 2016. This weekend is the first NASCAR race here in Phoenix. There's two every year, one in March, Aprilish time frame, one in November. This one's always fun because it's, uh, it started as a night race. It's the newest race and they moved it to the daytime. And this is our first time taking our trailer up to PIR to do like the camping thing. We've been up there multiple times, camped with me, mom, and papa. Last year we hung out with Mike and Joy. This year we're doing our own thing and we've been inducted into the crew. Back at it once again. It's been, uh, well we pulled out of storage last month, but we haven't really used it since Halloween, right? Yep. So, it's been quite a while. My fear has always been that I'll get, I don't know, complacent and kind of get like used to all the things, and then I'll forget like one key thing. Like I'll forget that one thing, and like, I don't know, something's gonna break or drive off without something, or I forget to like lock something, the trailer falls or something like that. All right, we're all hooked up, ready to rock and roll. It's like I never left, right? It's, it's like muscle memory. I just know what I'm doing. Trailer is way dirty though. Kind of hoping there's somebody there that can uh, wash it for me because it's nasty, nasty. So PIR, our destination, is down tucked underneath these mountains here, and I should know what these are. I think these are the Estrella Mountains. I think. I'll look it up. But they're straight. They're, they're, this is where the mountains are, and you can already see there's a ton of RVs already out. And we're like almost a week before the races start. It's crazy. There's Mike, swag. Then we got Papa. And this year the race is called the Good Sam 500. They pretty much get a new sponsor every year. Whoever pays the most money. I don't know if it rotates or if it's, I think it's rotates. I don't think they're gonna be the same guy, same sponsor two or three years in a row. There's a lot of people out here, but there's still a lot of holes, a lot of empty spots. Just That just shows you how crazy busy this place gets and how full it gets. Look at this. Yeah, see, I've never seen it this empty before. It's crazy. So now we have the task of trying to put the, our trailers together like a big puzzle. We've got eight spots, seven trailers, and have to have enough room for all our cars. So if you remember from last year, we had a big like rectangle, and we're gonna try and duplicate the same thing. So there's the first two trailers dropped off there. Mike's backing up now. He's gonna go right along that um, trailer right there, and then I'm gonna go in front of him here. And then Papa will go uh, perpendicular right there. And there it is. Drop, ready to rock. There's juniors, oh, yeah, awesome. seniors on the back side. And we've got one more that's gonna pull in right back here in front of me, big 40 foot, and we'll, that'll make our big horseshoe all the way around. So the plan is uh, Friday after the kids get home from school, we'll pack up, we'll head on out here, and we'll be here till Monday, because uh, the kids have no school. It starts off spring break, so we'll be, we'll be starting off spring break in the trailer. Then, We'll pack up the trailer, but we're not gonna take it back to storage. No, no, we have another trip planned right away during spring break. However, Sierra still has volleyball, and Bryce should have basketball, so it's gonna be kind of this weird, awkward, like we're gonna go home, but then the trailer's pulled out and parked somewhere, so I'm not sure exactly yet what we're gonna do. Tiffany's gonna try and figure it out, but we still have like normal stuff to do during the week, even though it's spring break. So either way, next week's gonna be epic, in my opinion. We're gonna make it epic. But it all starts here at PIR with the trailer. So we found ourselves here on the patio of Real Mirage Cafe for Taco Tuesday. Weather's amazing, got a little bit of a breeze going on, the sun feels good on our faces, and with the patio to ourselves. Got some Mahi Mahi tacos here, Sierra's got some fish tacos there, Bryce also has a fish taco with an enchilada, and Tiffany went with just a good old beef taco, traditional crispy taco. As I said, we're all by ourselves here on the patio, but man oh man, does this food look good. Margaritas are going down good as well. So back home for a few hours and kind of just, you know, chill. We like to chill. If we're not like on the run running, we like to chill. No plans tonight, nothing going on. Uh, Tiff and the kids watched, you watched Fuller House? Two of them, yeah. Two episodes of Fuller House. Oh, I missed those, I'm two episodes behind now, jeez. Um, you, went out, you went outside and played for a little bit, didn't you? 
-hmm. a little bit, a little bit. And uh, so it's it's about 9.30, time for uh, winding down, getting ready for bed. Tiff's actually already in bed. Bryce is watching YouTube videos on the Apple TV and Sierra's in her room watching on the iPad. I'm doing some more tests for uh, my streaming connection and then probably gonna play a little bit of Destiny before bed as well. So, kind of winding down. Is that okay with you? Yeah. We're gonna have a busy weekend and then a busy week, right? Because mm. spring break. Spring break. Yeah, you ready? You excited? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just going through some of the comments from today's video, and I, I guess I may have given you guys some mixed signals. I'm definitely not like depressed or um, like freaking out or anything. Like I just had a lot on my mind. I have a lot of things on my mind, and all I was saying is um, conversations with people like Cade. Um, you know, just make me think. It invokes thought, and Tiffany knows this. I am the kind of person who thinks of something. And I'm like, oh yeah, I need to do that. And then I'm in the process of thinking it and planning it and then squirrel. And then I forget about what it what it was. Or um, I remember of something while I'm driving or while I'm doing something else and I don't take the proper actions to remind myself or, or um, you know, plan accordingly. I have all these tools available to me. My whiteboard, my reminders app, all, you know. And it's just, it's me remembering to, to use them and to dive into them and whatnot. And so I'm definitely not, uh, I'm not in a bad place. I'm in a good place. It's good to, it's, I'm in a great place to have all of these things to worry about and all these things to think about and all these things to figure out. So uh, thank you guys all for your support. Thank you all for the great comments. Um, friends, fans, my clan. I appreciate it. Uh, but I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry about me. I'm good. Um, progress, I think, on the streaming um, issue. I now have both uh, my ISP and YouTube uh, working on it and potentially working on it together. So that's a good thing. Uh, that basically, it, it's my house and the pipe that goes to YouTube, like everyone's talking and working together. So cross my fingers in the next couple of days here. Um, I think a tech is coming out tomorrow to um, investigate this stuff so soon I hope guys the division just came out and it looks amazing and I want to play it but I don't want to play it by myself I want to play it with you guys don't have a whole lot going on tomorrow uh, Sierra does have volleyball but uh, I'm I don't want to go really do anything I kind of want to just chill here and get some work done since the last two days have been on the go for the most part so um, yeah we'll see you tomorrow vlog on